from claiming Indiana Jones for himself to scaring away Chris Pratt with his comments. I think we all know that Harrison Ford hated the idea of Pratt replacing him as Indy, even though nothing's confirmed yet. I mean, sure, after the fifth movie and Ford's presumed departure from the franchise, fans know that a potential reboot is a huge possibility. Whether they like it or not is a different thing, but I'll tell you more about that in a bit. While reboots aren't a new thing in Hollywood, and major films love to re imagine our favorite classics for better or for worse. I think some franchises just should not be touched. Some classics cannot be reimagined, and Indiana Jones is one of them. There was a time when actor Chris Pratt was rumored to be taking on the iconic character in the fifth film. You're gonna play nice. Indiana Jones next, yes? <laughs> <laughs> no. um. Thank you. Interesting. I don't, I don't remember. I just I don't remember I thought I'd that. throw that out there and going see over if, that uh... Of course, everyone knows now that that's not the case, but he could potentially take up the role in subsequent reboots, right? No one's confirmed anything yet, and frankly speaking, it's a little premature to assume right now. Like, the last film hasn't even come out, and we're not even entirely sure whether this is the last. But even if it is, a reboot may not be in the works for years, and likely Chris Pratt won't be the person for it when and if the time comes. But if Harrison Ford has any say in it, no one will replace him. Having played the world's most famous archaeologist for nearly 40 years, Ford seems to have a very firm stance on his character's future. The future being, well, that there is no future. This actor is way too attached to his character. And while I don't necessarily agree with him here, I do understand where he's coming from. 40 years is no short time. That's more than half of his career by the way, if not most of it. You don't dedicate such a huge chunk of your life to a character only to see it being instantly sniped as soon as you leave. And honestly, give the man some respect. You can all discuss the rumors later. At least wait until the last film is out before you try and usher him out the door. Now, I know there have already been many different spin-offs of the same franchise. We have the young Indiana Jones Chronicles, with a different actor, obviously. Not to mention different voice actors voicing the character in in video games. But those were things on the side. This is the real deal, and it belongs to Ford, because as he said, he's literally Indiana Jones. In an interview with USA Today, the actor was asked a major question by host Craig Melvin. Who would he like to see as Indiana Jones when he's done with that role? You think the actor might have some young faves in mind, but no. He put his hand on the host's shoulder and simply said, nobody. When, when you're done with that role, yeah. Who would you like? Who would you like to see as Indiana Jones? Nobody. <laughs> oh. Because don't you get it? He is Indy. Indy is him. You cannot separate the two, and he knows that. So many people recognize Ford as Indiana Jones. Sometimes people don't even know his real name. It's no surprise then that Harrison said, when I'm gone, he's gone. I'm Indiana Jones. So when you're gone, it's gone. When I'm gone, he's gone. <laughs> It's easy. Get it in here, okay? Yeah. Well, now, now I've got it. Yeah. Sure, he said this as a joke, but of course he meant it because it's not like he retracted his statement afterward. He even jokingly apologized to other actors who had hoped to take up the mantle someday, saying, this is a hell of a way to tell Chris Pine, I'm sorry, man. Whoops, wrong Chris, Mr. Ford. It's Pratt you want to apologize to, but that's all right because it looks like Pratt got the message anyway because he shut down that rumor for good. Harrison Ford. This is a hell of a way to tell Chris Pine's this. <laughs> I'm sorry, man. <laughs> Pratt appeared on the Happy, Sad, Confused podcast last year in 2022, when rumors of his casting in the fifth movie were at their peak, and he seemed to shut them all down. He even joked about not knowing who Steven Spielberg is. Of course, that was a joke. Then he got serious, asking, no, aren't they doing it with Ford? More interestingly, though, he brought up Ford's comments from 2019 about Indy dying with him. Chris said that once he saw that quote, it was more than enough to scare him away from even thinking about the role. The young actor doesn't want to be haunted by Ford's ghost. Plus, it's not like he's in desperate need of good roles or anything. Now, aren't they doing Indiana Jones with Harrison Ford? Yeah, clearly Here's they the are. Clearly they All I know to, is yes. I once saw a quote from Harrison Ford who said that when Harrison, right. and I don't even know if it was really him, but I but it was enough to scare me that he was like, yeah. when, when I die, Indiana Jones dies. 
he topped the box office twice last summer with his major films Jurassic World Dominion and Thor Love and Thunder. That's not all. The actor's also headlining Prime Video's new action show, The Terminal List, and is currently all set to star in James Gunn's Guardians of the Galaxy 3. I don't think that losing the indie role, one that he never had in the first place, is going to hurt him much. In fact, he would probably turn it down even if Ford had not made that statement. After all, he doesn't want an entire franchise's worth of fans after him, does he? Because unsurprisingly, they're not at all thrilled with the idea of the Marvel star replacing Ford. Many of them took to Twitter to express their disappointment, and the tweets range over from being very funny to borderline disrespectful too. But hey, that's Twitter for you. One user wrote that just the idea was enough to drive him mad and ruin his morning. Another one was furious, writing that casting Chris Pratt as Indiana Jones should be a crime. Easy there, guys. Poor Chris hasn't done anything to you. One fan asked Pratt to stick to the Jurassic Park franchise. If you want to see this actor in action movies, this franchise should be enough. And if that doesn't cut it for you, well, Marvel isn't going anywhere. There's no need to touch Indiana Jones, is there? Another user wrote that he was very thankful to Ford for scaring Chris away. Maybe it's for the best. Speaking of Ford scaring people away, this definitely isn't his first time doing that, in case you didn't know. Let me circle back a little here. So Ford has said that Indiana Jones will end with him, right? Which means it's very likely they'll kill off Jones in a huge showdown or just slowly. Don't you remember him playing Han Solo in Star Wars? Who am I kidding? Everyone remembers that. Anyway, he never enjoyed playing that character, but he never proposed leaving the franchise. No, he just wanted Han Solo to die. Ford didn't want to be replaced by someone else. He just wanted his character dead so he could get the role while also being the only guy to play him. Hmm, now why does that seem familiar? Well, I guess that's Harrison Ford for you then. The actor echoed the same sentiments at the Ellen DeGeneres show a couple of years ago. The chirpy host talked about how many actors are auditioning to play a younger version of Han Solo, and Ford had some advice for those actors. Well, maybe advice isn't the right word for it. Call it an order, if you will. He said, don't do it. There's a lot of people auditioning. Are there? Yes, a lot of people want to play that role. Uh, I, I'm, I'm flattered. What, what tips do you have for them? Don't do it. <laughs> The outspoken actor reasoned that the studio will make you put in 25 to 30 years of your life and then just let you go. Now, Ford may not have enjoyed his experience as much, but I doubt this is the reason that he doesn't want others auditioning for the role. Given his record, I'm pretty sure he just doesn't want to be replaced. That's all on Harrison Ford's reservations about being replaced as Indiana Jones. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.